Welcome back to Aftermath TV, everybody. Pleased now to be joined by the one and only Finn Balor, who is set to take on Samoa Joe at NXT TakeOver on June the 8th for the NXT Championship. Welcome to the show. This is your first time on our show. Are you ready for a little bit of seriousness, a little bit of nonsense? I'm absolutely not ready at all. So, <laughs> so go easy. Perfect, okay. perfect. That's what I was yeah. hoping you yeah. would say. Kevin Owens actually warned me about you guys. He said, <gasps> you know, you guys can be a little mean sometimes, and especially getting them up early in the mornings. As so, if. Uh, so I have my guard up right now. I think I've been very, very sweet to Kevin Owens, and I'm going to hold that comment against him. Uh, all right, so let's, let's talk business first things first. Mm -hmm. Steel cage match against Samoa Joe coming up. What is your strategy heading into this rematch? Uh, I'm going to be completely honest and say I have absolutely no strategy. Uh, this is the first time ever that I've been in a cage match. Uh, I know Joe's been in a couple. This is the first time it's been done in NXT. And, uh, but, you know... First time I was ever in a ladder match was actually against Kevin Owens, so I won that one. And I was rooting for Kevin Owens in that match, and now <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna switch I'm gonna switch sides now because he's being a jerk. <laughs> I think you know that's what I gotta do. Um, okay, so you've actually never ever been in a steel cage match, not before NXT, not overseas, nowhere. No, never. Are you scared? Are you nervous? No, absolutely not. You know, uh, I always kind of thrive under pressure and and, and the nerves and. Uh, you know, a little bit of anxiety is, is always good for the performance. Have you watched any steel cage matches to get yourself, like, amped up? Like, are you watching, like, <laughs> Shane, Shane O'Mac taking that's, on The Undertaker to be like, okay, I got to do something big here. That's the last thing I want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, think I'll turn up on the day if I watch <laughs> Shane O'Mac or Mankind anymore. <laughs> what did you think of Shane O'Mac jumping off the top? That was insane. Yeah, it was insane. Do you think it's, it's kind of like underrated or underappreciated the risk that he took doing that? Because a lot of people... Certainly not from my point of view, anyway. I can clearly see the risks, and uh, that's something I never, ever <laughs> want to be involved in. You're not so crazy enough. So hats off to Shane, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh, that's so funny. Do you have a favorite steel cage match of all time? I think the one that sticks out in my mind would be Undertaker, Mankind, uh, Hell in the Cell. Classic, yeah. classic. Yeah. So that's the match you should watch to get ready for. Yeah, or not watch. Or, or not, because then you'll be like, guys, yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm not. I'm, I'm just going not out gonna through the do door. It. That's my strategy. <laughs> I'm not going over the top. So it doesn't intimidate you at all that Samoa Joe has more experience than you in, in a steel cage? No, not at all. Okay, all right. He can't be intimidated, apparently. <laughs> Only by Shane O'Mac, evidently. Um, all right, so you're. You're one of the more unique WWE superstars, not only in NXT, but WWE as a whole. I'm curious to know how much input you have into your look, into what you do in the ring. I mean, how much of that creativity comes from you? Uh, well, I don't want to say all of it comes from me because I do have a lot of help, but, you know, this is kind of something that I've been doing for a long time, and, you know, I kind of had my character and, uh, you know, my look kind of honed uh, before I came to NXT. But, uh, you know, I have had a lot of help with, uh, with things. You know, Triple H had a lot of input. Road Dogg has had a lot of input. And, uh, you know, it's, a, it's really like it's a real team uh, effort. To you said Triple H and Road Dogg. Yeah. Okay, so what are the two biggest things that you've... Because those are two amazing people. Yeah. What are the two biggest things that you've learned from each of them? Just uh, about presentation, uh, mainly from Triple H. He's, you know, he's always very aware of camera angles and, you know, getting me to like react to like, so this knows, correct like, camera. Well, he would have to know because with that nose, you uh, got to know like which <laughs> angles you look good from, right? You said. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. Sorry. I'm gonna get a call hey, he's now. My I'm gonna boss, get a call. Okay? I'm gonna he's get... my boss. You hey, can't he's... get in trouble. Oh, I, I can. We are associated <laughs> with WWE. I could probably get in trouble, but I think he would laugh. Don't you? Hey, I interrupted you. What did you learn from Triple H? Yeah, you know, uh, camera angles from Triple H, uh, you know, ring awareness. And then the one, uh, one of the best pieces of advice I got when I came to NXT was from Road Dogg. And he, you know, I said, you know, what do you want me to do? And I go out there and he said, man, just go out and be yourself. And that's, I've kind of like lived by that since, uh, you know, since I debuted. And it's helped me, you know, a lot. It's funny because a lot of people hear that and they think like, oh, that's such a cliche. It's such a cliche. But yeah. like across the board in sports, everyone that I interview Everybody talks about that, about how yeah. like it's it really is the best advice. Like all of the successful people that I've met in my life have always said, when I started to do me, uh -huh. that's when things started to to really go well. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, you get a lot of people in your ear, like you know, saying you got to do it this way and you got to do it that way. And you know, 
it's not really been true to who you are, it's kind of been true to someone else's beliefs. And uh, as soon as I started being true to what I believed in, I think that's when I really started to excel in NXT. Perfect. I read that you actually are a huge comic book fan to the point that you went on Instagram, you followed all of these comic book accounts to try to find inspiration for your look. Like, how much time are we talking? Did you put into sort of looking through all of these different accounts? Uh, it's just some, it's kind of an ongoing process. It's not like I sit down, like, <laughs> do my homework for like an hour a day, a lot of time. But it's something that I'm kind of always on, on the lookout for. And, uh, not so much like a look especially, but more like body language uh, that the comic book uh, heroes portray, I think can be very interesting. Is that what you like about comics? Is it the stories and, and like the superheroes, or is it sort of the imagery? The imagery, for sure. Really? Yeah, okay. absolutely, yeah. So you're an art guy? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so... I almost went to art college. Really? Yeah. What would you, like, would you have been like... Uh, uh, graphic design and fine art was what I almost uh, pursued, but then, you know, I became a wrestler instead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So if you weren't a WWE superstar, you would be creating artwork somewhere. Yeah, or an astronaut. Or an astronaut. Yeah. Is that you were you that kid? <laughs> yeah. You were like, I want to be an I astronaut. Wanted to go to space. <laughs> <laughs> I still do. Does it scare you? No, I, I think if I got a one-way ticket, I'd go. Really? Okay, yeah. so did you hear about these people that they had this whole thing with Mars? They were looking for yeah. people to go to Mars. So that's something you would actually contemplate doing. So I did contemplate it and I looked up like the credentials no. of what you need and you need like so many college degrees, which, you know, my wrestling degrees don't. They don't count. <laughs> they don't count. <laughs> but no. I won the NXT championship <laughs> yeah, one time. Doesn't that doesn't count. get me to Mars? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so interesting. So you would legitimately, if you could have, if you had the, the proper education certificates you would have applied absolutely 100% what yeah you would lift everything your family your friends yeah but what if you never came back <laughs> like what if you were just then you're just gone I don't know. it's just like a great adventure you know you you know kind of here on earth you kind of know exactly what you're gonna get do we you know? do we do we know what we're gonna <laughs> well, get on earth you know but I, I have know. a good idea yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but out there you've no idea right that's true. All right, um, you know, we talked about your Instagram account. Do you have a favorite social media account? Um, no. You don't. Are you, on, are you on all of them? I know you're on Twitter and Instagram. Are oh, you on Snapchat? Oh, of, of my, of my of own? Of your own, Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I thought you were thinking, <laughs> who's my favorite social media account to follow? Oh. <laughs> thinking, no, well, Kevin like, Owens do you is have quite a favorite? funny on Twitter. But, is he? No, yeah. just kidding. I do have Instagram. Okay. It's WWE Baller. I have Twitter, it's WWE Baller, and I'm in the process of learning Snapchat. And how's that going for you? Um, I just take pictures of random objects and put them on Fin 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 3. Fin 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 3? Yeah. What are you, Flipper? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, like what, what kind of objects do you take pictures of? Um, if you just, had to think of like one thing. Uh, just random objects around my house, like you see, you're straying from giving yeah. us an actual specific okay. item. Um, I feel maybe like you like it. Uh, giraffe you're teddy bears. Giraffe teddy bears. Yeah, I, li I like giraffes. Or not? <laughs> <laughs> Especially I like, giraffes. like toy giraffes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so they're just like littered all over my apartment right so now. So you're so Finn Balor's apartment. This is an exclusive <laughs> to Aftermath Television right now. Is littered with giraffe stuffed animals. Yeah. You know, it's it's funny, but it's also a little bit endearing. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hate on you for it because giraffes okay. are cool. If you had said like teddy bears, I might have held it against you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, follow him on Twitter, follow him on Instagram, and definitely, definitely check him out at NXT Takeover. It all goes down June 8th. It's for the NXT Championship. It's in a steel cage match for the first time ever against Samoa Joe. Thanks for being with us. All right, see you later.